Virgo, you versus them. Virgo, you versus them. Let me find out. <laughs> you versus them. All right. I did not do a pre-shuffle. What, what I mean by that is I did not take a glimpse into the you versus them. I just went right into prayer work and then I... So sometimes my you versus them, uh, compared to your other reading, which is what you can expect for the week, which you don't see coming in spirits, advice, and or opinion of that subject, sometimes the two do not, in my opinion, do not coincide whatsoever. So it's almost like I could be reading for two different groups, or it's definitely way two different situations that's going on in your life simultaneously. But um, anyway... Let's get to it. So we're going to do how the person on your mind sees you, feels about you, their opinion of you. Because after all, you already know how you feel about them. So the person on Virgo's mind, their opinion, feelings, anything else that they uh, think about Virgo. Virgo, the person on your mind. What is their opinion, feelings, thoughts about you? Are you in some type of dangerous line of work? Virgo, the person on your mind, their feelings, thoughts, any other opinions they have of you. Yeah, this was heavy in the uh, pre-shuffle I was just looking at. What's up with all this money? This person sees you as a bag. Why they look at you like that? They've been knowing you for a minute, but they feel like you a bag. You a blessing. This is, a, this is a past person for sure. You might share kids with this person. One of you doing well, the other one not so much. Oh, they don't like you. Oh, shit. They struggling to uh, heal off of whatever this is. Um, They don't like you. They got, they got shade on in here. Yeah, they do. I feel like this shit has also just dragged on for a long time, you know. Yeah, eight of wands in the reverse. Yeah, baby, that's jealousy. This, why is this person jealous of you? You share kids with this person, huh? You could, I'm telling you, maybe seven year. the kid's seven years old, one of your kids is seven years old, eight years old, maybe. You could have one that's seven plus five, what is that, 12? I think... 10 years old, 12 years old, 7 years old, something like that. Or you've been knowing this person that long. They jealous of you. I'm just going to let you know they jealous as hell. Jealous. Eight of Wands reversed. Jealous. Um, yeah. Well, it's not about a bitch. Damn. So, oh my God. Person on your mind, their thoughts, feelings about you. I got, got a pretty good inkling this is one of your uh, exes here. You could share children with this person. In this cycle, you've come up well, honey. Something here, you may have been working with this employer for seven years, ten years, a combination of any of the numbers I've already thrown out, okay? But you've turned, uh, you've made lemons into lemonade here. Things have started to balance out for you. The thing is, this person struggles with their temper um, and their overall jealousy and hatred for you. Um, 
when it comes to tax brackets, you two in completely different tax brackets. This person's on a five of pentacles, an outsider. They on the other side of the tracks while you are on the ten of pentacles side. A lot of jealousy. Now, either this is them that is, uh, you know, poverty or it's you that poverty. But one of you is got substantially less money than the other person and it breeds hella jealousy um this person is downright vindictful vindictive hateful mean um if you don't want this person praying for you i can tell you that because when they do talk to the heavens about you the ten of swords with the star And the tower. So, Virgo, if you had something recently happen in your line of work where you found yourself out of work, you know, this was some type of devastation for you. Um, just know that this person feels like their prayer. Yeah. They feel like that their prayer work. Um, <laughs> they feel this person could have prayed for something bad to happen to your finances. I hate I'm, I'm not trying to laugh. That's not funny. Not at all. It was something else I heard on my radio. Nothing to do with this. This is not funny. Um, this person feels like whatever they prayed, you know, I don't know if they did some type or um, this could be somebody saying, yeah, all that bad karma finally made it way back to you. You know what I'm saying? Things are leveling out. The ten, the, the ten of Swords, this person got a lot of grudges, and when they do speak to the heavens, they don't have anything kind to say about you. All right? They talking about some significant tower moment here, where somebody went from making 100 grand a year to 50 grand a year, or they went from making 50 grand a year to, you know, living off the state or something. This person was jealous. They feel like there's some karma being handed out here. Uh, it's like, that's what you get, you sneaking ass bitch, you snake ass hoe. Yeah, you see God answers all prayers. They doing a whole divine jig over here, okay? Um, now, this is, you know, one of you, you're going to know where this applies. So, one of you is making money, the other one ain't. And this part, somebody here, this person is harboring a lot of jealousy and hatred towards you. Yes. Eight of Wands in reverse. That's arrows of jealousy. Uh, definitely a domestic dispute that you have, most likely with somebody you share children with. Um, it's almost like stick a fork in me, I'm done. God is good. They doing a whole praise dance. Like, that's what you get. <laughs> God is real and God is good. This is somebody that goes to somebody's funeral and when they ask to come up and speak, it's like, God is good all the time. <laughs> <laughs> bitches come and bitches go. <laughs> That's ignorant, y'all. That's ignorant. A little bit, right? Right? Baby mama, baby daddy drama. Robbery and theft. Somebody here just feel like somebody getting everything they deserve. All right? Now, either, yeah. Look, you got the tower. This is the tower. Fire marshal built the tower. Let me tell you something. Mmm. <coughs> mmm, 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 mmm. A setup with a trap. don't love you in reverse well he she don't this person whether they're a guy or girl not only do they not love you they don't like you even a little bit this is feels like hatred to me revenge vindictive yeah yeah yes 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 <laughs> yes ten of swords yes uh-huh 
do, the do boy with the needy poor. So I have somebody here that might be doing quite well. And I think, you know, this person could have been doing very bad in the past. And now they're doing well. Um, this person might feel like you jealous of them or something. You know, you vindictive of them and they just feel like they protected by God. It's either them or you. At this point, there's so much hate that it's hard for me to sift through. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of hatred. Somebody here is telling me that, uh, you know, they could be doing a lot better right now. They used to be po. Shocker, this person's healed some shit. They doing quite well right now. Somebody here is jealous as hell. Very revengeful, very vindictive. Yeah, they calling somebody a bully. And I don't give a fuck, bully. Bitch, I don't fuck with you. Little stupid ass bitch. I don't fuck with you. I don't give they calling somebody poor. They calling somebody it's like who to do boy now? Who the poor boy now? Um, they're calling somebody a bully, like they bullied them. Yeah, it's something to do with your baby daddy or your baby mama, your badass kids. Mm -hmm. Somebody got some baby kids. They insecure. Uh, somebody here likes to play the kids against one another. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. Um, your kid is hiding things from you. I feel like somebody here plays with the kids. I do. Because pages are children. Six of cups refers to the past. It also refers to kids. Um... Somebody here could have had a strong a stronghold on somebody on their neck when it came to child support of said children as well. They are definitely bullying this person. Um, somebody here is definitely relying on someone. Um, this is also somebody I don't give a fuck bully. The kids are taking on the mannerisms of the other parent. Um, what they're telling me is that there's a child here that's saying, I ain't nobody's fucking do boy. Um, the child is saying, you know, you ain't gonna bully me. I don't know what time you think we own. Um, yeah, they, the, the kid is mouthy, you know. The kid talking about you jealous of my mama, you jealous of my daddy. Uh, yes, this is not good. And the kid is definitely resembling one of you, okay? Yes. 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 Yes, yes sir. <laughs> This is, I hate to say this, because I don't want to paint this picture that this person feels, you know, this much nastiness towards you, but they talking about somebody badass kid act just like the daddy, act just like the mama. I am going to say this. Sex is not identified here, so I do not know which one of you is doing it, because I don't, for the record, I don't have not named one person out here, so I don't know if this is a man or a woman doing this. But straight up, they're not identifying you. They're just identifying their feelings that they have. Uh, you know, I've, I've worked on myself. I've made, I'm right with God. My temperament's good. I'm healed. You're jealous. You're vindictive. You know, take it up with the take it up with Jesus. Basically, is what they're saying. Uh, somebody here is saying, "Kiss my ass." You know, I don't. I'm not gonna be bullied. I'm not your do boy. You know, needy poor is in the reverse. It's in the reverse. Somebody here was five of pentacles at one time. This person didn't have a pot to piss in or I wanted to throw it out of. But now they're doing all right. You know, I'm sorry that you're mad and jealous and hateful and nasty and vindictive and mean and got up and drank piss grease this morning. But everything good, God is good all the time. Um, but they are saying that the kids is uh, um, taking on the mannerisms of one of these parents. Just saying. Well, um, one of these kids acting like a little bully. Just letting you know. They ain't nobody's do boy. They're not doing no house chores. <laughs> okay. Some of you are talking about they got to get paid. There's a kid here talking about they got to get paid to do some house chores. You know. Huh? Woo. The jealousy and the vindictiveness is out of control. I will say that. And furthermore, Virgo, I'm going to touch on this. This shit here. Because there's one other thing I'm going to touch on about this, this pile right here, okay? Let's talk about it, boss. Yeah, let's do this. This is some bullshit. This is someone that's manipulating the Bible. They're manipulating the Bible. 
to fit their agenda. I just want to let you know that John 3, 4 says, yeah, they're manipulating the Bible. And then they're saying, bless be. Have a blessed day. I was in church this morning. And God himself has a problem. God himself is mad at you, you know. This is somebody that's going to twist the Bible up. I don't like that. We ain't playing that shit. Not here. Not here we don't. I saw it too. This is somebody with the temperance and the star. This here is God and God people. But you talking about the Bible and then you want to bring in an eight, of, or excuse me, eight of wands reverse, which is jealousy, hatred, spitefulness, mean. It's jealousy. It's jealousy. It's green-eyed monster. It's envy. With the Ten of Swords, this is somebody who's manipulating Bible. They're manipulating passages to fit their agenda. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. Damn. I hate to give such a terrible message, but uh, your person here, you got somebody who's a baby mama, baby daddy drama. They ain't got a lot of nice things to say, bro. Yeah, King of Cups with the big dick energy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here definitely calling somebody a bruh. You know. Making a man's diet or something. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, all right. Yeah, they want to talk about the kids. And they want to, yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got to have to, I, first of all, they're going to talk about the kids because there's younger children here at play. So this is some type of baby mama, baby daddy situation where I got a page of cups and a six cups. Somebody here is talking, if you're not talking about the kids, which I kind of think we are, but if we're not, we're talking about, they we're talking about the past a lot, okay? So, uh, Virgo, how you're telling me, how, how you know, Virgo, how do you feel about this person? Well, Virgo, you're telling me about the past a lot, you know, you're talking about the past a good deal. And you're talking about these kids. If y'all share kids, and the fact they said you badass kids, and these were the same two cards that your person was talking about. Your person also had the page of cups, six of cups. They also had it in the exact same spot. So apparently kids is an issue here, okay? Um, y'all like to talk about the past a lot. You like to talk about these kids a lot. It just kind of seems like all we need to talk about is the kids right now. Virgo, so you're telling me, you're talking about the past, Virgo. What's your opinion about this person? You talking about the past, you know. Okay, definitely could be baby daddy. And I got the can of cups here, you know. Okay, was he broke? He ain't got no job. He ain't got no car. You talking about somebody dead, okay? The king of cups is here, and you telling me that this shit did not go nowhere. The chariots in reverse. It never got off the ground. Somebody here uh, definitely had transportation issues. Absolutely. This person most likely did not have a vehicle. Man, in the past, when I was with so-and-so, you know, I loved him so much. I took him everywhere. I had to pick him up. I had to chauffeur him around because he did not have a car. And something here did not move forward in uh, your situation. That's what you're telling me? Yeah, it ended just as fast as it began. The death card is here in a challenge position. So why the death card is in a challenge position, Virgo? You're telling me about something that happened, a conversation that happened in the past. Where the death card's in a challenge position, meaning something ended, okay? Kind of. It should kind of ended. But I don't ever, uh, you yeah. know. It should kind of ended, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of dead before it even started. Yeah. Two of Swords is in the reverse. Um, somebody here playing is stupid, you know. Yeah. Um, you're telling me that this King of Cups was a deadbeat and that he's stupid. Mm -hmm. And he takes a lot of risks, you know. You're telling me that something just ended suddenly. You never saw this coming. Two of Swords is in the reverse. It blindsided you. It completely blindsided you. Um, the chariot is in reverse. 
Somebody here most likely had trouble with transportation, but they was definitely moving around on their feet. For somebody who didn't have no car, this person got around, okay? There is definitely a lack of trust here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So something here where we had to get some type of test done about who somebody belonged to, something like that. Um, definitely, this definitely has like paternity test around it, but we had to get to the bottom bottom of something, you know. Is it over or isn't it over, you know? Because the King of Wands is also in a challenge position with the King of Swords upright, which means tells me I got a ladies' man here. It hurt you. It did. Um, you're telling me I love this person. King of Cups is my baby daddy, most likely. I got blindsided. Two of Swords is in the reverse. I never saw this coming. You just call me stupid. Call me Forrest Gump. Call me uh, Forrest, you know, Forrest and Jenny here. Somebody didn't see the forest with the trees on this one. Mm -mm. Completely wearing the uh, love goggles on this shit. Absolutely. You are definitely telling me that this is an injustice. This shit ain't right. It's not. Damn it, is it over or it isn't over? But somebody here continued to flirt around with somebody. They continued to have sex with them. You know, they did. It's, it's not right because I love this man. I love King of Cups upright. Loved him. Somebody here most likely has daddy issues. For sure has daddy issues. 110%. Um, Four of Cups is in a challenge position. Okay. So you're telling me that when you get sad, you get lonely. I drink alone. Yeah, with nobody else. You know when I drink alone. I feel sorry for myself. Yeah, you self-indulge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something about when you drink, you do dumb shit in the car. The chariot in reverse with the fool. You get stupid in that car, too. Either you do or this person does. But somebody drinks heavily. And they black out. Two of swords is in reverse. They regret the things that they do and say when they're under the influence. It's most likely alcohol. Um, something about there is a pattern of chariot reverse. There's a pattern of, you know, something to do with the car. Where we keep wrecking the car. We keep having trouble with the law. King of Swords is here. That's my cop card. I have deep regrets. I have blackouts. I don't remember. You know, I do this dumb shit. The fool, I act foolish. I take these risks in a car that, you know, I don't remember shit. Two of Swords is I got a case of I don't remember. I don't fucking know. I, I kind of know. Like, four cups in a challenge position. It's like, listen, man, I was feeling sorry for myself. You know, is it over? Is it is? It, or it isn't. But somebody, even if it is kind of, kind of over, somebody still kind of flirts with somebody or still kind of, Suggest that there's, you know, a possibility for a new way. And I'm in love with this person. You're telling me straight up, I love this dude. I love him. I do not want this to be over. I played somebody's fool. Two of swords is in the reverse. I don't want it to be over. You're telling me you live in a sea of denial. And that you would do, you'd do anything for this person. Um, you would walk all over hell's half acre for this person. No car, you got a car, you got a boat, you got a plane, you, you would go to the ends of the earth for this person. You would definitely take a lot of risk for this person. And love makes you do some dumb shit. It does. So you're telling me you definitely got out of pocket for this person. Yeah, and there was injuries, yes. Yeah. Something about the car? Yeah, you've definitely. Did you wreck your car while you was drunk or, or under the influence? Yes. Yes, you did. Something about some risk. Look, the chariot is a vehicle. It's in reverse, which means all of a sudden we was driving, then we just stopped. Because of our reckless behavior on this blackout that we had, and somebody here got injured. Yeah. You fall asleep behind the wheel or some shit, or you're telling me this person fell, you know, they did, they did something stupid in the car. You know, it's a 44. You're telling me somebody here, either it's you or them, did something incredibly dumb behind a vehicle. They took a risk that injured everything. And I've suffered greatly because of it. Four of Cups is in a challenged position. I have self-indulged 
it's kind of like monkey see, monkey do. It's kind of like, I feel like we got two different addictions here. Somebody's got a drinking problem. The other person, they kind of more wild with the shit, yeah. With the fool, this person does take some real, real risks, over the road risks. Chariot, uh, that's shit we do in a vehicle. Yeah, this person crazy. Not crazy, but wild. They're wild. They're ornery. Um, there's injury here, you know. Both of you, I, I got two different issues there, you know. But, you know, not only is this person smart, they sexy. And I start feeling sorry for myself, you know. And there's a lot of shit that I don't know about somebody I love. It hurts me deeply. And, you know, I react off my emotions. I don't give a fuck if I got no driver's license. I don't give a fuck. That car fit to move. I'm, I'm about to fucking ride this car four flats on the Cadillac. Yes, that's what you're telling me. Four flats on the Cadillac. Yeah, you about to go ham. And I think that you would. You would injure yourself and others over this person. Yes, I think you, uh, love is crazy. You know, love is blind. I mean, shit now. Two of swords in reverse. I got Forrest and Jenny here. Jenny, yeah. And, um, sir, I mean, I mean no disrespect, but... Yeah, it's kind of like when Jenny come back home because she got the house in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? And she injured because she out here ripping and running. You know what I'm saying? And now all of a sudden she can't go nowhere. And she want to do what she want to do. But now she got that house in Virginia. You feel me? Um, I feel like somebody here could have used somebody for their vehicle too. They was out here ripping and running in somebody's car. You know, they didn't give a fuck. If I was fucked up, they don't. I feel like you was in denial about too much, boo. You was. You were in heavy. You were in a sea of denial. You knew kind of like this ain't the way it's supposed to go, but you got to convince your heart of it, you know. You can, the love, man, that love shit, it's, it hurts. The thing with you, though, when we started talking about the past, there's a whole problem with was there... Was there a past, you know, because the death cards here. So when somebody here starts talking about this, somebody, baby, daddy, the death is in a challenge position. It's kind of like we weren't together then. Yes, we was. No, we weren't. No, look, here's the dates, ma'am, sir. Here's the date. You are according to you. Seriously, somebody here doing fucking fact, fact check here. Car facts on somebody with all this car shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all was doing in this car. No, I got it right here on the calendar, ma'am. This is what we was doing. You know, and it's kind of like. Somebody here trying to play somebody stupid. You know. But the fool's here. So it's kind of like, um. I'll be your huckleberry. Yeah. So now you're playing fool for somebody, just straight up. Um, you've injured yourself a lot during this process dealing with this dude. And I'm going to say dude because you got the king of swords, you got the king of wands, and the king of cups. There's been no feminine energy in your reading whatsoever. There's also been no sex at all identified in this reading. Up until this point. And when I say sex, I mean gender. Yeah. So Mary's like, no, let me tell you for the 15th time. We aren't together, but I fuck around with you. This is somebody who had a child with someone who treated them pretty bad. Now, if you didn't have kids with this person, I kind of think you did. Because they said you bad ass kids. And we talking about kids. But this is somebody that you could have fucked around with when you was, you know, considerably younger, you know. Somebody here has changed a little bit, but uh, Leopard don't change their spots a whole hell of a lot. Somebody here is not allowing someone to see their father. Mm -mm, they're not. I'm talking to my kids about their dad. They're not going. Curates in reverse. You aren't going. But I love him. And I haven't seen him in forever. And there's a child crying. I haven't seen this person in forever. The chariots in reverse. It just makes this kid want to go more. Like the minute I turn whatever age. 
because this there's somebody here so crippled crippled hurt they're crippled you you know I'm serious because they are looking up to someone as alpha this person knows all they got all the answers they got all the answers and they are admiring this person the same way you most likely did um, somebody is also telling them, you know, where's my dad? You're saying, I don't know. Two of Swords, are, you do know. You know, you're playing dumb, but you don't really want to say. You know, this is somebody's asking when a dad coming. I don't know. I don't know when he's going to get here. Um, this is also a child that most likely gets extremely excited um, for the arrival of said parent. Um, there's somebody here that has to be more of a disciplinarian. It's almost like I got one parent here that has to play the bad guy while the other parent gets to be the hero. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of sucks too. And your defense kind of sucks. It's like, when will it fucking end, man? I don't know. You know, this person just gonna keep doing dumb shit. It's like, well, you know, the police isn't going to catch up with them. Yeah, I do. And that's fucking sad because all it, all it does is keep hurting my kids, you know? Somebody's dumbass behavior, but at the same, the same sentence, you're telling me that you dumb over this person. What, what risk you would not take for this person? You know, this person, you're telling me this person's had a lot of enablers through life. There is extreme daddy issues through this whole reading between you, the children, this other person. I've got extreme masculine issues. This is when somebody would even take on the form of a masculine to fulfill the void that's missing in their life. So this would be a young lady that acts a lot, that portrays as the masculine energy that they're missing. You know what I'm saying? So like now I'm the dude. I'm the rough and tough and don't fuck with me because they are missing their father. There's a father energy missing. Terrible. I got abandonment issues here. Terrible. Where somebody daddy did not show up. They don't know who in the fuck their dad is. Could be anybody. Somebody out here was. No. Seriously. Somebody out here, they was very reckless with their booty. They were taking a lot of risks. And they were sleeping around with a lot of different people. Yeah. Don't know who the daddy is. Don't know. And I do mean that. Too. Look. Here's the daddy. Can't, this is dead. Two of swords in reverse. They don't, they truly don't know. They know that hurts you. But they, they don't know. This is some type of curse that has played out. Because Ten of Swords with the uh, star, this is a curse. This is a curse. Listen to me clearly. You hear me? Ten of Swords with the star card is a family curse. And it is still acting out in your life. The death card's in a challenge position. It will depend on you taking control of this situation, King of Swords. There is a very extremely masculine presence in your reading. It's sexual. It's intelligent. It's deeply, deeply wounded. Four of Cups, Four of Swords. It's a 44. We are talking about spiritual warfare, my friends. Yes, this is, I am referring to the curse that is going on in your life. It is very hurtful. I do, Four of Cups? Look at this. I don't want to talk about this. Look, Two of Swords, are, uh -uh, this is no, we don't talk about my dad. We don't talk, we don't talk about masculine energy around here. No, that's, that's a subject off topic. Off limits. I don't want to talk about that. Mm -mm. You're not willing to even address it. Chariot reverse. No, we don't go there. We don't go there. No, we need to risk this. You need to. We need to pop this off. Because this here is deeply, deeply wounded. You know, I got deep daddy issues here. I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny when I say daddy issues. I'm not. But somebody here has to be, the, they have to have the intelligence, the brains of a man, the brawn of a man, and the emotional intelligence of a man.
problem is I don't think you're a man. I think you're a female. Now, if you are a dude, you could definitely be struggling with a father that you just buried. A parent that you just lost that had to be mommy and dad. You know what I'm saying? Raised by a single mom. Raised by a single dad. You know, definitely there is deep-seated where I was raised by one parent. And there's a lot of unresolved issues. And this is a family curse for certain 110% is not buried. It is not gone. This is deep-seated childhood wounds that somebody is acting out in their adult life. And they cannot make forward movement on it. Consequently, it also provokes them into making a fool of themselves and then ultimately causing this injury to themselves and others um blackouts um you know where they they're constantly trying to cope and they're trying to soothe their own hurt but at the same time they don't understand where it's coming from i'm letting you know where it's coming from baby Deep, deep, deep seated, yeah, insecure. Deep seated, deep seated shit here. Um, you know, there is such a resentment against masculine energy. This is like a female that would uh take on a masculine persona because she didn't have a dad. You know what I'm saying? What's this going on with the vehicle? I can't, I can't get away from this, man. The traffic, angel communication, okay. So while you're driving, are you seeing 44 a lot while you're driving? Because you're getting angel communication. Your angels are kind of talking to you in traffic. So when you're driving down the road, you're seeing 44, 111, 555, uh, whatever significant Especially 44, because you got four uh, four cups here and you have four swords. You're seeing in traffic, the chariot is here, okay? This is a vehicle, the chariot. They're telling me that while you're in, they are trying to purposely stop you while you are in traffic driving. And you're just la, 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 la. When you see these warning signs, it's because you have somebody here, most likely a masculine presence, that you most likely do not know. They never met you before in person. Trying to get your attention. Trying to protect you from making an ass out of yourself. From harming you and others. I know. I've been this person. I get communicate communication every day. Believe me, they say some a lot of night and nasty things to me. They're very judgmental. <laughs> okay. What is this? Hotel, motel, holiday inn. What is this about? Hmm? So, recently, while you were in traffic, did you see some angel communication numbers? And they're, they're referencing some um, point in your um, journey wherever you were, where this could have been like you looked over and you saw Howard Johnson, some somebody name could be Howard Johnson or Johnson or Howard or something like that. But, um, cause that's weird. I just thought about Howard John. I don't even know about Howard. I ain't never even stayed at Hojo's. Um, but comfort, you know what I mean? Like a comfort in, um, quality in, Something here about the hotel, motel, holiday inn is in reverse. Which is telling me something about these angel numbers you're seeing. Most likely they're trying to get your attention near one of these uh, hotels or motels. Or maybe somebody here passed at one of these places. They they passed in a hotel. You know, they, they you know, you got the death card here kind of. Did somebody pass in a hotel or a motel? I hate to get like that, but I mean, shit. You got trafficking, angel communication with the hotel, motel, holiday inn. I mean, 
there's some shit here you don't know that you're sad about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss you so much. Yeah, yeah. Big facts is in reverse. So what they're telling me, big facts is in reverse. The two of swords is in reverse. So there's some stuff here that you do not know. Okay. Yeah. You don't know everything. You do not know everything. I don't care what someone told you about where someone went and what they was doing in their vehicle. Okay. But uh, it's there is a lot about it that you don't know. Now, because I have you were too young, you've got page of cups with the page, with the six of this is like kids that are too damn young to be told the truth. You get what I'm saying? About how somebody died, what really happened. These are facts. King of Swords is facts. First of all, somebody daddy was good looking. This somebody here was a rolling stone. They definitely got around as a ladies' man. Yes, a charmer. Uh, when it comes to love, they did love. They did have a big, big heart, especially when it came for their kids. Loved the kid. Page of Cups would love that this was their angel. Angel communication. That's my baby. Oh God. If you ain't go a hotel, motel, holiday in reverse. Ain't no telling what this person would do. They go to the ends of the earth for this kid. Okay. Two of Swords is in reverse. It means I don't know. I didn't see it coming. Somebody did not see this coming. It is fucking sad. It is sad. But as far as questioning where someone went, what they was doing, it's a sore subject because there's a lot of shit here that's just been not painted correctly. Big facts is in reverse. It's not the way it happened. Okay? Okay. Just so we know. All right? So, if somebody here is lying to their kid because they're trying to spare the kid's feelings or something like that, because they feel like they're too little to understand, this could be something that's ongoing in your life that's now happening. It's like playing out in your life now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happened to your dad. Now, it's happening to your kid's dad. You know, because I know that's been uh, my own personal story. Like, prison has just been a part of this journey, you know, where my dad was locked up for extended periods of time. And dealt with several issues. And then I see it acting. I see it happening again in my daughter's life. And it's so, so sad to see this curse replay itself. And I have no control over the actions of other people. You know what I'm saying? I always said that, like, my picker was broke. You know, I got I got a bad picker when it comes to men, you know. Um, at the end of the day, this is something that started a very long time ago. Okay. I know I'm touching some sore subjects, man. And I'm not trying to make nobody cry. I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Um, and I share your pain. I, I mean, I'm, I'm there with you. These are life curses. <laughs> All right. What's your opinion? Spirit. So, what are we, what were you going to be doing? Let's say with you. Oh, how you feel about this person? Yeah, okay. So, I feel like you're telling me that somebody here acting just like they dad. They acting just like their dad. They're acting just like their mama. You know, you see somebody, the traffic in reverse. You see somebody, um, the potential for their life with, when it comes to taking these risks and acting foolish. You see somebody going down the same path that their, you know, their father did, you know. You, the big facts is in reverse. You may want to, I think there's a part of you that has not told your kids about, stuff because they too little you know it's time to start you know information is warning you know this is how your dad this you know so some things i didn't tell you about your dad but you're acting just like him and this is where you fit end up you know your dad was the yeah, judgment oh damn judgment with the justice okay so somebody daddy was in prison let's just let's keep it above you got judgment and justice somebody somebody parent uh had legal issues okay they had legal issues. Um, somebody most likely met their judgment day as well. Now, if it wasn't with the courts, it was definitely with the man upstairs and or both. Okay. All right. So, let's keep it up. Okay. Spirit. Okay. So, I don't want to choke anybody up, but I'm just going to let you know. Damn, this is hard for me to say. Oh, and you got angel communication right on top. Somebody are watching you all the time. 
Virgo, you make me cry, man. You got somebody watching you a lot. Page of Swords. Uh, they keep a real close eye on you. There's a lot of stuff that you were not told and misinformed about. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you definitely could have had the wrong opinion about your kid's father and about your own dad. You know. But I do see some. But all I'm going to say is they watch you a lot, Virgo. They watch you a lot. They watch him, man. They watch him. They watch him a lot. I think it's probably hard to watch, you know, not be able to do anything about it. Trying to scream for your attention through these angel numbers. They're telling me they're trying to get your attention around, uh, yeah, it's hard to watch. I knew, I knew it. I felt it. It's so hard because I feel things. You know, I, I read every day, so I don't really get emotional easy. But when I feel a spirit, when I feel their pain, you know, this is somebody watching and, and they are hurting. Five of Cups, this is grief. This is somebody that is watching you and they are mourning. It's got to be hard, you know, to want to communicate. Two of Swords in reverse, they can't. You know, it's too little too late at this point. Um, but all they can do now is watch over you and grieve, you know, and grieve. Now, that said, um, they're talking about something here that you may recently have found out that is not true. Not all the way true. Let's put it that way. Not all the way true. Something here that you might have recently learned. You looked into something. Definitely caused some heartaches and pain. More, you know, I'm more of this. Somebody here has watched you cry as well. Because this is spirit's opinion and advice. This is the spiritual opinion and advice portion of this reading. You've got a spirit here, opinion, a guide, a guardian, ancestor, most likely, that watches you and cries. They are beside themselves, you know. Uh, whatever energy it is, it is mascu masculine. Yeah, it, it's masculine because immediately just now I took that breath and the, um, the tears like went away. Yeah, this is a very masculine energy. Most likely your dad, you know, because two of cups is a soulmate. So it's most likely somebody's dad. You know, but immediately I was able to uh, regain clarity very quick. One minute I was really in my feelings and had to swallow that lump, and, um, excuse me, that lump. And then I was able to, nope, let's get back on course. Yeah. So this is, um, you've been such a gift to this person. You've been such a blessing. They try to help you whenever they can. Um, 56, you might be seeing 56 a lot, okay? 56 is an 11, you know what I'm saying? If you add 5 and 6, it's an 11. This person, yeah, the star card is here, yeah. Spirit's here, yeah, spirit with the star card. So, Six of Swords is my spirit guide card. They want you to know that's their sign. So, basically, what they're saying is they want to know if you're seeing this 56 number, you know, 5 and 6 equal 11. They also want to know 5 minus 6 is a number 1. That's the page of swords. It's a page is a 1, you know. Uh, they just want to let you know that you're just the, like the apple of their eye. You know, there is nobody above you, below you. You are the, you're the alpha and the omega. They would give anything to uh, hang out with you. They watch you a lot. They watch you cry. They watch you cry. They watch how giving you are. You're a very giving person, and you like to um, you like to give gifts to those around you. You know. 
they try to give you gifts whenever they can. They're very subtle gifts, you know. But when you're seeing that angel communication, they watch you all the time. Two of Pentacles. You are so distracted and they feel like you're missing their communication. So something about when you are like going about your, <laughs> you're just driving to work, whatever you're doing, they watching. They watching. They got your back on this for real because I see you looking forward with your eyes closed. They are behind you. So you actually do got eyes in the back of your head. Yeah. Um, but you know, here's the thing. This is somebody who cries like tears of joy. You know what I'm saying? Five of cups with the nine of cups. They do want you to know they are so proud of you. They're so proud of you, man. It's like tears of joy. They don't want you to think that they're sad, you know. It's tear they're so proud of you in a sense, yes. Um, you know, you've been such a blessing. Spirit again is on the bottom of the deck, six of swords with the you've been such a blessing to this person. Uh, the star card, you know, you are just complete fulfillment for them. Uh, nine of cups, a star. You've been such a gift and a blessing to this person, you know. All their focus is dedicated to you, you know. All their focus. They give you 110% of their focus. Again, you got 22, so they want to talk about, you know, you might see 22 because you got two of pentacles, two of wands. Now, this person definitely got your back, boo. So, I just want to let you know, when it comes, when the rubber meets the road and you think you by yourself, you are not. Mm -mm. There's been times where you've been crying and this person behind you been smiling. They want you to start smiling a little bit because this person really got your back in a lot of these uh, tight situations you find yourself in. This person has watched you cry. Like, you could be in a car crying. And then you walk into work, you know, and you smile and you just take the world by the balls. And this person just absolutely loves that about you. They've watched you and they've been concerned like, oh, shit, man. What's this person fitting to do? You just go in guns blazing. Like, bitch, I can cry in the car and come in and still be happy, bitch. This is just part of life. Um, your spirit guide here, they just really dig in you. You know, they got nothing but positive things to say. Yeah. Okay. Now, we got to touch on something here because it looks like um, they're watching you weigh your options on something here that's coming up for you. Okay. Could be a court legal situation. Um. Your spirit guide is, they have your back, you know, right, wrong, or different. Your spirit guide has your back. But it is sad to watch this play out, okay? Given the information I've just given you, I think you're very defensive when it comes to certain areas of your life. You've got something coming up where you're going to have to take action. You know, you come to the fork in the road on where or what are we doing? There's this part of you that gets up in arms where you dig your toes in. This is the line. Don't fucking cross it. This is the boundary, right? But your spirit team is here and they're talking about being fair. All right. With the six of pentacles with the star. They're talking about fairness. Okay. Is it fair? And they're talking about the four of cups and the justice. So, again, you got justice and the six of pentacles. They're talking about karma. They're talking about right and wrong. And it just feels like, here's the thing. They know that you're trying to protect someone. Yourself or someone else, you know, your kids, whatever. They know you're trying to protect them. They get it. That these, you know, apple of your eye, after all. You know, this is everything to me. The issue is, it's like you're fighting some type of battle here that you stand to lose because the Four of Cups is here with the justice, okay? This is going to be some type of loss in uh, court. 
you're going to have regrets and remorse when you go to court, spiritually speaking, or in 3D. Okay. Because you've got the star here when it comes to karma, honey. Six of Pentacles is here. The star. Wish fulfillment. But we got to keep the shit fair. You see the scale? I got to balance this scale out. You've got the opportunity to fix this and address this karma, man. You still, but you will regret this, spiritually speaking, or uh, spiritually speaking, or in the three D world. I feel like both, honestly. It would really, you know, in your defense, if you want to make the spirit guide happy. It's been hard to watch this. Your spirit guide's looking at this shit play out. They feel you on it. You know, they're going to ride for you regardless. But they see the direction that you're headed. You know, the direct. your eye is on this. Oh, no, I know what I'm doing. When I get up to this crossroads, I already know the action I'm, I'm going to take. My action will be I'm digging my fucking heels in. And ha, 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 bitch, glad that you're crying. Like somebody here is happy. I'm happy that you're crying. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha, I got you. Post this, bitch. Yeah. Um, there's just going to be big regret, you know. Big regret and big remorse later. Um, spiritually speaking and in the real world, you know. Um, they're talking about karma. They're talking about balancing things out. They do want to let you know without a shadow of a doubt that you are the apple of somebody's eye. Absolutely. Person loves you to death, to pieces. And they're going to ride for you. They go have your back, right, wrong, or indifferent. Let's not get that fucked up. But it is going to be sad for them to continue to watch this play out. And they also know that this will, you will regret this. You know? They also see the patterns that have played out. Like, you got to understand that you are just a product of, a, of your environment, either what you got or what you didn't get. So this person has to pay. You know, every time you do something, you're kind of representing your, your ancestors in a sense. So everything they didn't give you and, you know, you get you show this proud face. We're not. Fuck that. It's going to be me and I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's my party and crap. I want to fuck you, bitch. All that matters is I'm protected mine and we happy. They're just telling me like you, they know, you know, from being old and wise and generations old that you will regret this and you have an opportunity to, you know, amend this pattern in life so that your kids don't repeat it in a sense, you know? They want to talk about all these lovers in your life, um, and it's really hard due to all the partying, you know. The kids are seeing a lot of the partying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most likely are a mom. They want to talk about this new cycle and all these risks you're taking. Um, the risks are very exciting. There's something here very, you're about to jump into something It's very exciting for you, you know. You don't see this coming, but there is family here and a good looking dude and got his shit together, but there's toxic here, babe. You know, it's very sexually motivated and there's God, you know, they really want, there's something here that you're tempted just to rush right into and the devil is on this. It's a very lustful connection. They want you to think about this shit. Like, yes, he's good looking. He's beautiful. He got his poop in a group. I mean, I don't know if he got his shit together or not, but the dude's smart. He's smart and he's good looking. And that's good enough for you, baby. I mean, seriously, the devil with the knight of wands. And your people is here, the hierophant. It's like, eh, this is where the record, like, you know how you're jamming to the DJ, the wheel of fortune. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, the whole record stops. Hold up, pimpin' yeah, look. Three of Wands, hold up. This is waiting. Hold, wait, wait, hold up. Wait a minute, yeah. Judgment. Uh, somebody here, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They talking about tapping them, tapping them pockets. Where's his money? Where's your money? Be I, and I get it. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Uh, all I see is brains and brawn and good looks, but no green. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be where you're gonna struggle making forward movement on this and success with this little soulmate here that you think is daddy. Oh yeah. Just like daddy two of cups. Soulmate. There's somebody here with deep seated daddy issues, baby. King of Cups with the Emperor. Emperor, this is daddy, as in who I know to be my dad. King of Cups, this is my kids' dad. And there's somebody here that is as above, so below, they still looking for their father. And it's with their kids, you know what I'm saying? And this is kind of sad, but it needs to be addressed. And obviously, Virgo, you, we need to talk. And I am don't want you to feel any type of way like I'm calling somebody out. Like I'm saying, that you, we all got daddy issues. You know what I'm saying? I was raised by my dad. I got daddy issues. You know, I've watched the curses play out in my life. I've watched the curses repeat in my own life. You know, so I'm definitely not going to live in a fucking glass house and throw stones. I'm just letting you know, baby, this is heartbreaking to watch. They are crying. You know, all these posts, there's something here you could be posting or somebody else is posting and it makes them feel so good when they post this shit. Is it right though? You know what I'm saying? The justice is here. Is this right? Like by the heavens? Think about your fucking karma, man. You're going to regret this shit later. You've got a decision to make here when it comes to your family. And these little lover situations, man, and you put too much stress on this shit, then the, the partying starts. And then somebody needs to take your phone from, from you. You know what I mean? Because that's when all this talking comes. Well, all these fucking females. A bunch of bitches just gossiping. This is mamas, baby. Mamas and mamas do whatever. I'm getting carried away. Listen. On this cycle, they talk about you being a fucking fool. About you getting injured. And about this tower moment. Okay? That will deeply affect them pockets. Your spirit team's right here. They love you. They are trying to reiterate how much they love you. They are trying to protect you. More importantly, they trying to protect them motherfucking pockets. You feel me? Uh, the judgment's here. You can wait on it. You can cash what I'm saying. You can take my check and cash it at the bank tomorrow. Wheel of fortune with the hierophant. It ain't me you talk to, baby. This is God talking to you. You got the devil on your ass, Mr. Postman. He's coming in the form of a good look man. Motherfucker look like he's smart, and he is so smart and sexy, girl. He's here for the long haul, but your intuition knows this motherfucker is working you. He's a snake-ass bitch. He's playing, plotting, and strategizing on you, and he's broke as a fucking joke. He's got a lot of different options. Um... This brother's had options to get his shit together, okay? He snicked every single one of them. What's up with his family anyway? Because you don't know a whole lot about him. You want to know why people avoid certain type, certain type of conversations? Because they fucking humiliate it, you know? They hold shit back because if you was to know what really, how this person really behaved in the street, that they fucking messy, they sloppy, they full of shit, uh, shit and vinegar. Oh, yeah, you will see it. And when that truth is revealed, shh, finito. And here we are again, a single mama with the babies. Queen of Pentacles, businesswoman and a mother. And all I see is you and you and the kids. And you trying to build a build a man. This is the magician with the with the king of cups. This figment of your imagination about who your father is, uh, whose shoes you try to fill when it comes, yeah. You just want the world to see this success, successful relationship here. You know, the world, okay, has really painted some narratives of some shit that's just not. It's it's an illusion, love. It's an illusion. Okay. Listen, I hope you appreciate the reading. I hope I made a difference. You know, if I didn't, I, I did my best, man. I, I gave this to college a try. You had me emotional. I felt a wealth of emotions. I gave some, some, some own, my own personal, you know, shit out on this. I, I'm really trying to make a breakthrough with the Ace of Swords on well, somebody. Um, I hope it helps, you know. I really do. I hope you give it some thought. Take care.